Yo, what is going on, everyone in the crypto space? Thank you guys for tuning the channel today. Really do appreciate it. Now, this is going to be the first of two uploads tonight. I will be doing one more upload uh, tonight. Uh, I am uploading a lot later than usual, but I had a lot of personal errands I needed to get done today and was quite busy the whole day, so uh, that's why I'm coming out with the late night content, but hey, uh, better late than never. <laughs> Either way, uh, what I have for you guys today is some pretty astonishing information, but I'm not as excited as I would be if this was like a confirmed press release by Ripple because, you know, it isn't coming from either of the horse's, horse's mouths. So at this point, I am not going to treat this as fact. I mean, I'm still going to provide you guys this information. You can interpret it however you want. I'm not going to tell you how to interpret it, uh, but I am going to present this information to you guys and give you guys my analysis. But as of right now, I'm going to treat this not as fact quite yet because this could have just indicated they were working in the past at one point and maybe aren't working together anymore or the developments have slowed down. I don't know quite yet. I, I do want to keep this personally. Uh, I do want to treat this as speculation, but I think a good portion of you guys are going to be going, wow, Alex, it says it kind of explicitly right there that MasterCard and Ripple uh, have worked together or are continuing to work together. I mean... Let's just go ahead. Let me show it to you guys. Uh, however you want to interpret it, that is completely up to you. But me personally, I'm going to continue to treat it as speculation because we're not hearing it from either of the two entities quite yet. Obviously, probably because of an NDA. So Darren Moore tweets this out on January 4th, 2019, and it actually did not get that much exposure. Um, but either way, that's really not that's not what important. But uh, again, credit to Darren Moore for finding this information. Go check him out. Give him a follow on Twitter. Now he provides this link to Amos.com.mx, and this is a PDF for lo what looks like a Amos uh, event. Uh, so it says like prepared for AMIS, which I assume you know is some sort of technology or fintech or banking event. Uh, most most likely some sort of financial event, um, and it's hosted by KM. KPMG. We can see here, and it's about blockchain technology and related implications. Now. One thing I do got to let you guys in on is that if you zoom in really, really close here, you can see that this is actually a uh, confidential document here. So I don't know exactly how legal this is, but I mean, it's out open on the internet. So I mean, I ain't doing nothing wrong. Uh, so either way, let's go ahead and let's see this information. It's quite promising. I mean, I'm, I'm going to continue to treat it as speculation like I've said numerous times already. Uh, but it's, wow, just listen to this. So it says, you know, transparent claims process, you know, when they're talking about insurance companies, how they're exploring blockchain, but keep in mind, this is back in May 17, 2017, right? So it says Alliance uh, is working with Everledger. Uh, Alliance again, you know they're uh, insuring. You know they're exploring smart contracts. Lloyd's and Manulife, uh, or Lloyd's and uh, Manulife, they are you know doing the Tradle KYC solution. And then listen to this, guys. I am just lost for words. To be completely honest with you. MasterCard in, under the payment section. So other here we're talking about uh, smart contracts, KYC, kind of for products, fraud detection, agent licensing. But right here is the specific area of payments. Now it says MasterCard, cross-border business-to-business payments and remittances, blockchain-based payments and smart tags for predefined pre events under insurance policy allows for increasingly ease reimbursement experience as well as speed of funds received. And I do spend, they do spell receive wrong, so I don't know what the heck's up with that. But uh, the speed of refund or the speed of funds. Uh, has obviously improved in X Rapid. That's pretty much what it's really known for, is making it a lot quicker and saving the company a lot of money at the same time. And look at what it says after this. Ripple Payments Blockchain Solutions. So by saying that MasterCard is getting into cross-border business-business payments and remittances with blockchain-based you know, based payments, but then why the heck does it say, in parentheses, Ripple Payments Blockchain Solutions? So essentially what I'm saying is, does KPMG know that behind, or uh, does KPMG know behind the scenes that MasterCard, because again, this is a, you know, confidential document. So they're really saying, uh, I, I, what I feel like they're actually saying is that MasterCard, or at least with my wishful thinking, is that MasterCard is actually using Ripple's uh, payment blockchain solution to, you know, it, uh, continue in their field of business business payments and remittances. So... Uh, I'm kind of lost for words, to be honest. I don't have much analysis for you guys. It's just this information. Um, 
maybe you know if the kind of the community uh, us together we can kind of look uh to kind of dive a little bit deeper in this to see if we can actually find you know some very really good clarification on what was said here because it straight up says payments mastercard you know cross-border business business payments or remittances and it you know it speeds the 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 speed of the funds received are a lot faster uh and then it says ripple payments blockchain solution so are they saying that mastercard is actually using ripple payments blockchain solution and guys this is not out of the picture here because one of their biggest competitors american express is a confirmed expert or no is a confirmed ripple net partner well, his name dropped uh, by Stefan Thomas that they were an extra partner, but that's a whole other conversation. But basically, guys, it really seems like on this confidential KPMG document that MasterCard in May seven in the time frame of May 17, 2017, was actually using Ripple's blockchain solution. So if this is actually real information, wow, Ripple Net is just taking over the world, guys, and everything eventually is going to be running on Ripple and leave the old pre-funded account correspondent banking SWIFT system in the dust. I, I swear, guys, it's just every single day that we get more information, it's all just showing, improving the progress of the Ripple Net and XRP ecosystem, and I am so glad to be part of this technology. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do I always appreciate it. What are your thoughts on this? Do you think it's pretty much confirmed now that MasterCard is using Ripple Payments blockchain solution? Uh, you know, provided by the source of the KPMG confidential document. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As well as, uh, make sure you check the links in the description. Get yourself a Nano S. Keep that cryptocurrency nice and safe. And make sure you do this post notification so you never miss a video or a stream. So, thank you guys for tuning this video today. As always, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.